the Holocaust, 38 Ukrainian Jews lived inside a cave for 18 months. It's the longest time anyone has spent underground on a continuous basis. Now their story of survival is being told on the big screen in a documentary film titled No Place on Earth. This is where they were cooking. Look, don't you see it's all smoke here? Filmmakers brought four of the survivors back to southwestern Ukraine to visit the cave that saved their lives. Producer Rafael Marmor says it's the first time any of them had been back since fleeing the country 67 years earlier. Going back there really for the first time to, um, you know, to, to, to see this cave and to kind of thank the cave and um, to revisit it was for them um, just amazingly emotional and for us, us similarly so. There were two caves the families hid inside. <laughs> they were discovered by Nazi troops in the first cave. It's a day the survivors will never forget. And my mother right away stood up and said to the kids, hide any place you can. The film depicts the family's constant fear and shows what they did to survive for more than 500 days underground. The families generally looked out for themselves. I think they realized pretty quickly that that was the only way that the scenario, that it was going to work, that each family had their own representatives who would go out and they would, you know, procure food and supplies, but only for that specific family. Marmor says the families would only light a candle for a few minutes each day. They felt safe only in the dark. That was their comfort. And then at the end of the film, you know, there's that very nice scene where they say, turn off the lights. And then, you know, Sam says, ah, now I feel at home. Now I feel good. Um, you know, it kind of tells it all. Let's close all the lights for a minute. Ah, no, I feel good. Marmor says the day the group was liberated was bittersweet because their homes and belongings were no longer their own, and living again in the light would take an adjustment. I said, close the candle quick. It's too bright, I can't see. The documentary uh, took two I'm years to make. Most filmmakers shy away from Holocaust themes, but Marmor says this was a story that needed to be told. I think it's a great lesson for today just the bravery and the fortitude. It's just so nice to have, you know, a story from this time period where, you know, they fought and they survived. The film is being shown in select theaters throughout the United States. Later this year, it will be shown in theaters in Germany, the UK, and Israel. I'm Lindsay Mastis for JN1 in Los Angeles.